What's up everybody? Pal702 back today with a, another dual coil RDA review. I don't even know what it is. Yes, dual. We're not doing singles. I know some of you guys are saying I'm doing too many singles. Got some dual. Today we have the layer cake from District 5. And if you've seen reviews on it, you know that there's a little bit of controversy about this RDA in particular. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go downtown. I'm gonna break this package open, show you all around the layer cake and all the extras they sent me, throw a build in it, got something special for you to listen to today, pop back up, pros and cons, you know how we do it. All right, so let's see what we have in the pouch that they sent me. So this is what I received with the layer cake. The RDA is in here, so we'll go over some of these extras that they sent me first. I don't know if everyone got these or just the people that were delayed two months because they had to redesign or they had to add something to the deck, which we'll get to, but they did send... Ooh, look at that. Couldn't do that twice. They did send this really, really nice drip tip. Right. <laughs> Kick ass. And if you guys know like the District 1 drip tips, they all unthread and they're interchangeable. So they sent me that guy. And then they sent me a nice little pin here that says, to layer cake is human. You fucked up. Or if you read it vertically, to air is human, which I totally agree and buying something for $60 that uh, vapes like shit and being angry, that's totally human too. Now I understand everyone shit's emotional right now. <laughs> I digress. Let's see on the back, it says we appreciate your patience. Hopefully this sweetens the deal. 10% off code icing and a pin. So sweetens the deal. This is the layer cake. The box is very simple. There's nothing on it. Made in China. I believe it's designed in California. And on the back here, they talk about the ceramic steel, which they use in the block. That doesn't, uh, it won't melt up to like 580 billion degrees. I don't know if you vape that hot or, I don't know how hot the inside of an RDA gets, but this is good to a thousand degrees Celsius. It's got electrolytes which brass melts before then and some other stuff. So don't know if that really matters. Don't know if it's really true, but it's something that they were very proud of because they used the entire back of the box for it. To open her up, slide her out. This flaps open. Let me take the layer cake out of the way first. Now this one is really easy to miss your extras. Your extras are right in the back of this foam. Your extras, you're gonna get you know, a plethora of O-rings, you're gonna get a studded 510 pin, and then you're gonna get another screw which goes down and it's the one screw that clamps down all of your leads in your center post. You also get two extra rings that go in between the top cap of your RDA and the base of your RDA if you wanna change the colors. There's one on the RDA plus these two. It's like a kind of a gunmetal color, and then a gold color. And you also get this warning on the inside of the package right here showing you not to put your leads here because it will, what does it say right here? Leads are assembled too closely, shorting will occur. So it's telling you to have your, your, your legs out wide and We'll address this in a second right here, but you guys already know how I feel about uh, vape gear that comes with all kinds of uh, excuses and warnings why it's gonna not perform. And here it is. This is the Layer Cake by District 5. And I must say that by looks alone, this thing is uh, fantastic. It's a very, very beautiful looking dripper. You can see right here, airflow on this side, Airflow is the same on that side. It's a very simple airflow where you just twist the cap, 
And then what happens on this side will happen on the opposite side. And right here, you can see that's the ring right there. It says District 5 on it. Those two extra rings, these guys right here, if you want to replace that to match whatever maw that you're using or whatever mech tube that you're using, feel free. All right, so up top, you have an 810 drip tip. And you can see there's no O-ring or anything on the bottom. It's identical to the one I showed you, the extra one that they gave me. Stainless steel, gold. Very, very nice drip tips. These things look super awesome and they're nice on certain RDAs that don't get too hot. Right, looking down, the barrel here of the layer cake, you can see that there's a big O-ring right in there. So that's how this seals. Snap. All right, across the bottom, you will see it says, let them eat shit, I mean cake, right here. And you have the cosmonaut and then the layer cake symbol, District 5 right there. Another O-ring right there for your squonk action. This does come uh, squonk ready, so this gold plated 510 squonk pin will be in there with peak insulator. And just overall, it's a very aesthetically pleasing RDA, for sure. This is your top cap for the layer cake. And you can see in there that it has a massive doming action right there. And it is also set for dual or a single coil. That would be your single coil. That would be your dual coil. And a couple of O-rings right here because this does sit inside another section of a barrel. There's actually two sections to the barrel and then the deck. Right here, here's the those little rings that they give you extra of. Right here, which this always spins, like no matter how tight you have your cap on, this thing spins all the time. So just from the top cap right here, you would think that this would have some excellent flavor, but I guess we'll find out. So what does the District 5 layer cake have under the hood. That is what she has under the hood. Before I get to this, I'll just show you what I mean about the two-piece top cap. It's two pieces, and usually when you pull this part off, this doesn't come with it. This always stays on the deck like that. There's no notches or anything, so this thing spins freely. Just so you know, no notches. First thing that I noticed on this deck right here was the lack of a juice well. Now, I don't really care about juice wells if the airflow is set up high, kind of like the dead rabbit, something like that. You don't really need a, a big juice well. But when you put this bottom piece on right here, you can see right there, that is going to be the top of your juice well. So let me just measure that real quick. So with the bottom section on, you get close to six millimeters of a juice well. If you look at it that way, if you look at it this way, you get shit, you get nothing at all. But the way that this is set up, when this is full of cotton right here, you're not gonna really get six millimeters of juice well. See, with cotton in here, when you squonk, it's gonna cut that down quite a bit, and your liquid rises awfully fast. So even though this measures six millimeters from here to here, once you have coils and cotton in here, it does not give you a lot of room for error, as they'd like to say, because that's human. The fact that this is designed to be a squonk, squonking R RDA, you know, they sent it squonk ready, uh, I would expect better from them. Like I said earlier, they spent a lot of time on the looks of this thing. They have the, you know, the disc, the five for district five. They have the layer cake all machined in here. And it's really hard to see very, very, in very tiny font right there. It says layer cake on the deck. It just the amount of time and money and energy they put into the looks of this thing. It's very evident by looking at it. It's a gorgeous RDA in my opinion. Now this part right here, this center post, 
We've seen it before. We've seen it with the dot 24. One screw does everything kind of sandwich style or layer cake style in this thing. The, the capstone did it um, from Vape Happy and Vanny Vape. So this is nothing new. I mean, when this thing first came out, I think this was before the capstone, but it was definitely after uh, the dot 24. So this isn't any type of, uh, they didn't come up with this innovation. You know, they did come up with the ceramic steel right here. But when they say layer cake, this is what I, I'm guessing they're referring to is this ceramic steel and the way that this center post works. This the center block. The way that it works, it's just one screw. You know, you can use a flathead. And as you can see, it's not spring loaded, but you can pull everything up. A lot of times you can separate this guy right here and see how it just kind of sits where you can get coil in there and a coil down there. That, that's how you do it. So one lead there, one lead there. This down here, this is your negative post. And up top here, this is your positive post. Now when you take this fully apart, So you take this fully apart, you can see up top on your positive, this is your positive, this is your ceramic steel right here, and it has a little insert, so it just goes right in like that. On the bottom here, you'll see they get, you know, they're trying to be clever and cute again. They took the time to put um, made you look. I'm not sure if you can pick that up. Made you look, and then like the A-OK -okay sign right there. And I don't know if that's referring to the issue, the massive issue that was with the first batch that came out on this, which is the lack of this insulator right here. So the original ones came and there was an insulator, but you see how there's tabs right here on both sides? Those tabs are to catch your leads and keep them from sliding in and making contact. They keep your leads from sliding in and directly touching the center post, which is positive. Remember the bottom here, this is negative. So without these tabs, when this thing first came out, you can see it in some people's reviews, these tabs were not there. Meaning if you put a coil in there, and you were running it on a mech, like I prefer to do 95% of the time, you would get a hard short, which would mean an auto fire, and it's gonna keep firing your RDA until your battery vents, or you throw it out the window, or you do something. My typical coil, my favorite coils, clean as fuck coils, shout out to Freddy, what up man? The way that they sit on this deck, if you're not paying attention when you put these in, and say you have the bottom of the ceramic still up too high, it can still get over and contact that. So this somewhat remedied the situation, but I don't know why they couldn't have made this go a little bit higher. If you're running on, on a regulated, you can put six or seven or eight wraps on something. On a mech, you put that many wraps on it, and you guys all know to do mechs, you're gonna have a shitty vape because your resistance is going to be too high. These coils right here come out to like a 0.12. I'm not gonna use them on this RDA because, well, you'll, you'll know why. That was the danger of the version one of this. Now this is the fixed version, but you can see it can still slide up. Yes, it is uh, incumbent upon you as a builder to build safely, and I totally agree with that, but as a designer, when you're designing these things, you should make them as safe as possible. And I just don't know if this little tab right here, it doesn't impress me at all, especially for the price. There should have been, they should have done more. That, that was the controversy on this. The original one did not have these tiny little tabs. It was just flat and it was just super easy for your coil to, sl to slide over. This has those tabs. Just make sure when you're building this thing, as you're screwing it down, that you are underneath this tab or you have an eight to 10 wrap coil in here or something where your legs are going far out. Just be, be very, very aware of this. Just because they say they fixed it doesn't mean that it's not gonna auto fire, you know, or short out on you. Just be careful. 
That's all I'm gonna say. And then also you can see on this, the bottom of this deck right here, it does have dual O-rings to help with, with leakage and stuff like that, plus the O-ring that's on the base of the deck. So to put this guy back together, I'm gonna leave this up because we're gonna we're gonna build this guy in just a minute here. But the bottom goes on like that. So there's your airflow. Airflow there and there. And then you want to make sure you have this lined up so you're running your dual airflow. And this just goes on just like so. And there you have it. That is the layer cake by District 5. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna throw a build in this. We're gonna throw it on top of, um, mm, definitely something regulated. Hit it. Oh, I probably offended somebody. My generation's afraid of opinions. Y'all so intolerant. Y'all so intolerant. They're ashamed of themselves because they're privileged and whiter. They're black and the opposite. Black and the opposite. You get charged with harassment for hugging the woman or giving the compliment. Y'all way too sensitive yet. Offended to death. Bring all the coffins in. I swear that y'all are mad at everything that don't affect your life. Hey. I swear that y'all believe that being offended just means that you're right. Hey. I swear that y'all just wanna be the only ones who everyone lies. Hey. I swear if I swear at you ninnies, you probably so triggered you cry And nobody wants to be real, everyone's scared of how everyone feels We become so ultra sensitive and hyper tolerant that honestly, honesty gonna be illegal It's crazy y'all get so shocked and bothered from people saying things that aren't responsible If that seems logical, y'all are weak then If someone says retard, it ruins your weekend And that's retarded, my hair been in braids cause it looks hella awesome Y'all like to scream I appropriate culture but I don't hear nothing I'm paying homage, y'all are just trying to get likes on your comments Googling quotes that are are socially conscious and saying you're woke doesn't make you a prophet it makes you a liar and stupid of not always on that blah blah y'all should keep it to yourselves miss me with that drama you must think i'm someone else cause y'all don't wanna fuck with me cause i don't feel the pressure no, I will not be censored I'm not afraid, that's why they fuck with me My name will be remembered And I will live forever I bet y'all hate that y'all are stuck with me Happy Halloween, for one evening only you wear what you want <laughs> Unless it's a poncho, a headdress, or afro, you'll piss someone off Hey I said Merry Christmas, but I know that it's about to be gone If religious freedom's such a dire issue, why you dress like a priest in October for fun? Don't let them censor your thoughts, don't let them make you regret that you talk Don't let them tell you that nice is the law, trying to make you all righter when nothing is wrong Yeah, words hurt you, clothes hurt you, memes hurt you, jokes hurt you, we hurt you Half the time you don't even probably know what hurt you, but you're super mad, trust we hurt you You a pawn in a broken system, are you triggered much? You been showing symptoms, y'all are so addicted to being hopeless victims, y'all can crash a and blame the road conditions And your only sickness is your social vision Makes you scared of choices but you pro decision So you march a lot but never go the distance Yelling way too loud until no one listens Always on that blah blah Y'all should keep it to yourselves Miss me with that drama You must think I'm someone else Cause y'all don't wanna fuck with me I don't feel the pressure, no I will not be censored I'm not afraid, that's why they fuck with me My name will be remembered, and I will live forever I bet y'all hate that y'all are stuck with me You look like the devil, you sound like some Christians You just want a medal for asking permission You just want a pat on the back in addition to being so tolerant Fine, I admit it, you're nicer, you're better, you're writer You're brilliant, most sensitive creatures in all of existence My freedom of thought should be censored with prison The world would be better if we weren't so different <laughs> Always on that blah, blah Y'all should keep it to yourselves And that was a little Tom McDonald, politically incorrect, and more importantly, the layer cake, 24 millimeter RDA by District 5, sitting on top of the Rebel Donk.
take it for a rip. All right, so what do I think of the layer cake? We're gonna start off with the cons and with the pros because we always end on a positive note around here. I'll give you my word. Cons on the layer cake. Where do I begin? <laughs> Don't worry, Scrub. Now there are plenty of tards out there. First con on this is going to be the fact that it is the hottest RDA I've ever vaped. From the time that I did the build portion on this until right now, was 20 minutes to wait for this thing to cool down and it's still super hot. That's why I'm not gonna take a lot of rips off of this because this thing is already scalding hot. Con on how hot it is. It's that hot because your coils are so close to the top cap, you don't have any room in there. Yeah, I put larger coils in there, but that's also because I don't want to risk my coils, which is my second con, popping up over that little peak insulator tab and shorting out. Even though I have this on a regulated mod, that design, the fix to that peak insulator, it was kind of, in my opinion, it was half-assed. I got a solution. That's what you said last time, dipshit. I got a solution. You're a dick. Usually I just you do a five wrap on this, but I did a six wrap on this to spread it out. Now I've done other builds in here. I've put a 2.5 millimeter build in here. Same thing, it gets hot. It gets hot with the exception of putting round wire in here. That's the only thing I didn't do. Maybe that'll keep it from getting hot. But with a 24 millimeter RDA, I should be able to put quad core fuse clappings in there. A five wrap. This is a six wrap, but I should be able to put a five wrap in there. It shouldn't get hot. Don't want to sound like a dick or nothing, but uh... unless I'm chain vaping it. You take a couple rips off of this thing and it is scolding hot. Con number three, I think. Con number three is going to be the fact that this thing, it's, it gets so fucking hot, they give you this stubby, tiny little drip tip. Once again, they spent a lot of time trying to, trying to make this thing look beautiful and try to be cute and clever and funny with the aha made you look, you know, this, that, or whatever, when they should have spent more time, energy, and money making an RDA that performs. Brando's got what plants crave. Yeah, it's got electrolytes. What are electrolytes? Do you even know? It's what they use to make Brando. Yeah, but why do they use them to make Brando? Because Brando's got electrolytes. Next con is gonna be the flavor on this. Like when you saw the, you know, the conical top cap on, on this and you would think it would have some flavor. And I'm running blue pucker, which is a juice that I vaped a, a, a shit ton load of, so I know what it's supposed to taste like. In this, I get like a third of the taste of any other RDA that I vape. So, about pute. Um, <laughs> I'm just playing. Let's see here. Uh, possibility of it shorting, the fix wasn't that good. You have to have, you know, wide coils. You have to make sure that your legs are like this. Some people with the alien crimp them so they're level. You don't want to do that. You want to have them like this. So they'll go in, in that, in the layer cake block, spread out right against the top cap. Plus the inside of the, I can't pull it off. It's too hot. Why'd you do that? But this top cap sits inside this bottom, the second half of the top cap. So that further takes up more room on the deck. It puts more metal in there and you really have to be careful with your coils. Your coils might look good with just this bottom piece on, but you have to remember that this top piece goes inside this bottom piece. So you want to have your coils as close to that center post as possible. And even then your coils are, they're still just right on, right on this airflow right here. What I do is just like, like yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> next con on this is it squonks like booty. I'm fixing the commensurate. I was pointing at it when I was squonking it. For some reason, it only squonks on one side. You squonk it, and one side saturates, and the other side doesn't. And you know, I took the thing apart, I looked, everything's clear. I don't understand why it does that, but it only squonks on one side. Next con is going to be the fact that this thing leaks like a sieve. It talks like a fire too. I wiped this thing down so many times before I was able to bring it up top. It just, 
this is, I mean, this is, this is designed to squonk. They send it, I mean, if, if I am a consumer and I get this and it's got a squonk pin in it, then they're telling me that this is essentially, they've designed this to squonk. And it's a horrible, horrible squonk design. Okay. The airflow is crazy low. The fact that there's no juice well, and once you put your coils and your wicks in here, you have no room. So I, I wasn't shocked that it got hot and it leaked everywhere. What I was shocked about is how quick it gets hot and how long it stays hot. Okay, so pros on the District 5 layer cake. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, but check this out, man. Second batch edition, whatever you wanna call it. You get two really badass drip tips. You get this guy right here, and you get this guy right here. Very, very nice drip tips. If anything, you paid $60 to get two really nice drip tips, which sometimes drip tips do. They cost, you know, 20 or 30 bucks. I don't know if everyone got the second one. I got the second one. And then um, the other thing is they gave me this pin right here, this layer cake pin. And I thought maybe that would help it vape better. So I put it on just to see if it, if it helped out. And I'm just gonna try it again here. nothing yeah no um so next pro is going to be the airflow is at least quiet it's super quiet i can i can only take a couple more rips off this so quiet airflow and what i do like about this is rdas like this where you you spin it and you cut down the airflow like that and then it it makes it so your your airflow is not on the center of the coil. This doesn't have those those posts on the deck, those those tabs. So you can rotate this bottom of this deck so you can cut the airflow in half or whatever, and then you can twist the bottom so it's lined up at the middle of your coil. But once again, if you cut the airflow down on this thing, it's just gonna get hotter. Price, what are you gonna pay for the layer cake by District 5? 60 bucks, uh, maybe 55 bucks. They give you the 10% off coupon, which is um, icing, you know, layer cake icing. Sweeten the deal. So 10% of 60 is $6, so $54. I object, I object. Which looks very, very, very beautiful. Very good looking RDA, um, but it performs horrible. So would I recommend spending Five dollars on this, no. Let alone fifty-five or sixty dollars, whatever you find it for. This goes up there with one of the worst RDAs. This and the Cursed Vortex are probably the two shittiest RDAs I've ever vaped. Yeah, that's good. You sure you ain't the smartest guy in the world? What makes me, which what really irks me about this is, it looks so nice. It's such a good-looking RDA, and the machining on it, which this is another pro. The machining on it's fantastic. Machining's great but they just they spent so much time trying to make it look good and trying to be clever with the major look and the symbol and all that stuff instead of being cute and clever and stuff like that like give me something that's gonna give me fucking flavor and it's not gonna melt my face off every time i take a rip like this thing is piping hot piping hot so that's it that's it <laughs> i don't want to start your mondays off angry uh, but I'm just gonna tell you don't buy this thing just don't flat out save your money take your girl out to dinner take your dude out to dinner take whoever you want out to dinner or first drink drinks or whatever but save your money on the layer cake unless you want to unless you think the two drip tips are worth it yes in in the pin right here what you're saying is on that note I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in <laughs> Darkness world stops turning. Yes, MCM Mondays are back in full effect starting Monday. I don't know what's going on out in the world, but I do know if you're watching this, it's Monday and around here with my District 5 layer cake on top of the Rebel Donk, it is still definitely all love. See you guys on Wednesday.